G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle, and welcome back to The Walking Dead in 7 Days to Die, where things are actually looking pretty okay. If you ignore all of the zombies that are currently walking in circles around the prison, I'm holed up inside of. So yeah, if you ignore the zombie apocalypse, the zombie apocalypse is actually just fine. It's all good, don't even worry about it. But outside, all night, all I've heard is just the shambling footsteps of all of the undead. There's a lot of them out there, so I'm trying to play it smart for once in my life and just wait until the sun comes up before I get out there and try and take care of business. Today needs to be a big day though. I need to go into like the main desert town over here find some more newspaper stands to hopefully fingers crossed uh complete my my spear book series get all those perks going for me then go and do the fast food outlet up uh, just up north of me i have to find a cooking pot i have to find a cooking pot quick because i need some better food than some seared steaks i gotta i gotta get things going my way right now or else they're never gonna do it most of the zombies seem to be centered down around that farm just down there, which is all good with me. There's Dishong Tower casting a big old shadow over most of the world. I might just ignore the zombies. It's fine. They're not going to get inside my house. I mean, they probably could if they wanted to, but I'll deal with them later on. Ooh, cheeky deeky god bag. What you got for me? Scrap you, cheeky froth. It's a little early for that. Quarter past four in the morning is either a great time to continue drinking, but not a great time to start drinking. I mean, I know the world's gone to shit, but someone's got to have standards somewhere. And for once, it's going to be me. Oh, that Nancy is a feral. Take care of you nice and quickly. It's a little bit scary because the ferals can still get... Oh, jeez, if I could hit the broadside of anything, that would be wonderful. To hit the broadside of a broad. There we go. Thank goodness. The ferals can still get their super duper sprints on if you give them a tickle and they don't go down. So, got to make sure I focus on them when they do show up. Kill you as well. You're a real tanky, but your noggin's still a bit splooshy. There you go. No. <laughs> Please die. I don't know how many of these hits actually counting as headshots or not, but apparently barely any of them. Or your skull is just as thick as I thought it always was. Oh, got another feral too. It's an Arlene. Good to see you, lass. And a copper in the background. Hold on a jiffy. All right. How am I going to deal with you? You can vomit at me, which... Oh, oh, wait on. Relatively easy to juke. No flying kebabs. Not really my idea of a good time. Well, it is five in the morning, so that kind of makes sense. Sun comes up, and so does the kebab shops. Nice. All right. What is in you? Needle and thread book that I've already got, but at least we're finding the book somewhere. Got to keep your eyes peeled. Oh, there's some down there. Uh, oh, and some down there as well. I might do the loop. I'll do the loop. It's scary going into the city as it is, but it might be worthwhile. <laughs> Except there's ferals everywhere, apparently. Oh, a bit of a jackpot here, actually. There's a fair few newsstands. Give me you. Spear hunter book I've already got. Archery book I've already got. Vending machine that's broken. I did hear a lot of clattering and breaking of glass around the joint, so there's probably lots of zombies coming to say g'day to me and ask what the morning shouts are. Put you down. If I can't go like this. Oh, I can. I almost hit the wall, but still managed to glob with the sun. Set you all down. The spear's doing a good job. Fast, repetitious, and dangerous. Need more books, though. That's not a book. Used to be a book once upon a time. Ah, uh, no. Okay, all right, that's fine. That's fine. Do to the finest stone, though, because my spear's almost broken. I can hear... Oh, it's either a wolf or a zombie dog. I don't really... Oh, it's a zombie dog. Shit. Shit. Uh, you know what? Here, put that down. Up. Oh, God, please. Please. Up. Up to the top. I'm just not... <laughs> Oh god, I'm not quite brave enough to find a zombie dog the proper way. So I'm just gonna hide on top of a bus and hope he doesn't find me. Uh, can I just like see your head at all, please? Not quite. I can't shoot you in the shoulders, it won't do dick. There we go. I mean, look, a little bit of range helps a lot. Nice, okay. The rest of the zombies I can deal with relatively simply. Take my arrows back. There's a stone to sharpen the point of your noodle again. Prepare you. Okay. Man, there's a lot of murder that has to happen for breakfast. I wasn't really hungry, but if you insist, I'll have the French murder toast. Oh, God, there's another dog. Oh, there's another dog. There's another bloody puppy. Uh, where are you? Come up. Stay behind the tree. Oh, scary. So, Okay. One zombie dog is scary enough. Two zombie dogs implies there might be a zombie dog horde down there. That I really don't want to go and fight. 
Anyone up here though? Nope, it's all looking nice and clear. Well, that's only a lot terrifying. Good to know, but at least I saw them coming before they were nibbling on me big toe. Please die. You please die as well. You were a feral, not so much anymore. Still got that sweet decap going. Yes, yeah, Spears, love it. Well, even though there's some more newspaper stands up there, I am cutting my losses and heading back the other way. I, it's too early for me to go fighting zombie dog hordes. That's just a great idea if I feel like dying very early in this series. And I like this idea so much, I want it to last a little bit longer. Not the first thing I wanted to last longer, but anyway, I digress. Let's go back the other way. I made another couple of friends. <laughs> They're everywhere. I was just here a moment ago, and you've already come back again. There's another dingo, and I really don't want you cause me problems like your last one did. So about there. Good pill. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, I'm going to harvest you up and get some of the steaks that I accidentally lost through no fault of my own just the other day. There you go. Cheers, knackers. Mm, it's all looking nice and quiet now. I've done enough murder that I can have a bit of a breath of fresh air. Needle and thread. I should probably make myself some, like, um, like desert clothing, given I am living in the sandy stuff. If I have the books, I may as well. What do you actually take? Hang on, I need like a leather duster, I think it's going to be. Leather duster. Leather and sewing kits. I probably have that back at home. And that'll keep me uh, nice and cool, yeah? Good protection against the weather. Sounds like a good plan. Got another needle and thread book. Learn how to craft a variety of good looking and versatile. As long as good looking comes first, it is the most important part. Got to impress all the zombie biddies when you're cruising about town and stomping their faces apart. Uh, future is got to easy to follow guy. Nice. All right, what's in you? Another one. That, I was going to say, that's probably not far away from finishing off that series and sure as shit. Had a bit of a delay, but we got there eventually. That is a feral stripper titties. I was tempted to throw my spear there for a second, but first of all, would I have to pay her and I'm broke as dicks. But second of all, I would miss my shot anyway and get my spear stuck in the wall behind her. Excuse me. Nice, nice. In fact, like what are the chances these like little pop-up stands might have a cooking pot in. There was one back here as well. I'll go check them. I, I need the cooking pot. I'd be daft if I didn't at least check these things out. Oh, and there it is. That doesn't just give me a tingle. That gives me a right old sizzle. Speaking of sizzle and though, bacon and eggs is now back on the menu, boys. Shit, yes. Ah, uh, well, where am I actually? Am I too far away? Mm, not especially. I might even... Oh, I was going to do the whole loop up and around to there to go and do that quest. But now that I have the pot, I might just quickly duck on back home and get that on the go. That's probably the wisest call because I don't want to get distracted going and looting and then accidentally scrapping that cooking pot. That would be disastrous. I have no idea what I'm going to do with this prison at some point. Like, I want to make it my house, but I don't know how I'm going to convert it into something that's actually going to be good against the zombie hordes. If I do that, it's going to be a lot of work to get it done. But eventually, maybe, it might turn out to be something a little bit ship-shaped and not completely woeful. Let's get all the way up to the top. I still have some of my eggs. I didn't lose all of them in the catastrophe of day two. I lost almost all of them, though, but I've got two remaining. Oh, that's a freaking spider. I don't really want to have to deal with you right now. <sighs> And I don't know where you're coming from either. I heard the whine and the scream and all your fangy floppy jaws are out there somewhere. I guess I'll see you when I see you. Not excited for that fight. Am excited for bacon and eggs though. Sounds like he's doing his best to try and tunnel through the wall over there. This is what I was talking about on day one. The prison itself is a horrible, horrible POI to try and make a horde base in. All the walls, because they're just cobblestone, they just get rinsed. Oh, goodness God. They just get rinsed so quickly. That is a giant horde spawning in. I don't know why they're just standing around cuddling, but we're coming this way very shortly. Thank God I saw them, so I have a little bit of warning. Please stop. Oh, I hate you. They jiggle about so much and jump to high heaven. I mean, okay. I could do with a cheeky bit of murder this morning. I'm well fed, well nourished, and well hydrated. May as well use all of that by murdering all of you. Yeah, oh, there you go. There you go. Now you're triggered. Now you're coming over. That's a lot of zombies. Thank God I saw you early, though. If you guys had to shut up and clog the eggs in my prison, that would have been a really bad time. 
It's a lot of just like weaving back and forth and trying to keep them all in front of me. Stray for local play in a good old fashioned Doom game. There you go. Keep a nice pointy stick between me and your pointy teeth. I, I, you know what? This kind of just validates the decision to go with the spear. But enough levels of uh, sex rex now and the perks in the spears that I can kind of just keep on firing over and over again. Keep them at bay. Keep on prodding. Make sure no one's come up behind me though. That's just good cricket. Nice. So far, so good. This is fine. As long as I see him early, we're okay. Bit of a throw rug of zombie corpses. But that's always a good sign if I'm still alive to see it. Quickly check the pockets of one of you bastards. Bit of arm guards. Ooh, no, I'll keep. I'll keep the better armor on at the moment. Mostly just because I am worried about a, a, the occasional nibble. I might be getting away with one, maybe two with decent armor, but any more than that, not a chance. And look, it's just such a big difference. It's almost double the armor. So, all right, cheers, knackers. I'll scrap you up and turn you into bandages instead. Couple of bandos. Right. Oh, that was an eventful morning. It's only half past nine. We definitely earned our bacon and eggs. Oh, let's go do the quest finally. That was a lot. Oh, that's a good get. That's a real good get. I was going to make one of those for myself, but I'll take a freebie. Don't mind if I do. Look at that. Heat resists so bloody much. Oh, but I like the college jacket. It gives me the extra run speed. I think at this point, keeping myself nice and cool is more important than my sprint speed. I'll keep the jacket just in case for later. Because, yeah, if I'm overheating, then my stamina is going to go to tits anyway. Mm, yeah, I think that's the right call. I just like being a speedy boy. There's the joint I've been looking for. And for once, it wasn't just because I wanted a burger. The fat's food. Not a bad POI. Built a horde base in it once upon a time. That actually worked out really well. Kind of like it was the first horde base I built in Alpha 20. And kind of where I figured out just how effective like an elevated, narrow platform was. This is a good place. I have fond memories of this joint. Uh, I do need to tickle the marker though. Let me just come over here and give you a dabble. All right, let's get in. Get out nice and quick before the rest of the zombies figure out where I am. Owls, how you doing, love? Just, uh, I mean, look, it's been a long time since I met you out the back of a fast food joint. Fond memories, but not worth reliving. I've got a fair few points to spend. I don't want to spend anything more in some perception just yet until I find a rifle. Ooh, demo expert. It's been a hot minute since I made a base that used like grenades and things and pipe bombs. Okay. I mean, look, I'm expecting a perception already. Spears, rifles, and bombs? Sounds like a good combo to me. So, okay. I might change the way I build horde bases a little bit, but that'll be fine. It's been like since Eclipse, I think. The Eclipse series, the last time I used bombs in any sort of meaningful way. Take all of you. But I've also got... Oh, where do I put these points? Bro, I mean, it's got to be like sex rex, right? I've got to just push to get as much sex rex as I possibly can. <laughs> Read into that however you want to. Master Chef minus 69. Um, I mean, that's for tools and things. Nah, not that one just yet. Maybe even Daring Adventurer. Um, I've got to get up pretty high before I get double dip rewards, though. But even so, it does mean I get more rewards for whatever I'm doing. No, I don't know. I don't know. I'll focus on the murder for now. We'll sort out our spec sheet later. Oh, I get so nervous going into dead ends like this, but it's not an easy way for me to escape when things inevitably go wrong. I start getting real uncomfortable. Anything in you? Just some toilet paper? No, don't need that. Hello? Oh, I see one. Can't see your noggin, though. I still want to try and get some stealth damage where I can. The spear is great, but easy... Ah, oh, shit. Easy kills with the bow? Even better. Easy, easy. Oh, close enough. I pierced your bloody ear. I know the hitboxes are real happadaisical sometimes. Sometimes it's going to give me a handout, though. The cicadas outside are getting rather rowdy, which means it is now midday. There's also a couple of zombies out there, but I'll deal with them later on. Check the coffee. Nothing there. Come on, give me something. Give me something good. I found a couple of, um, what should we call those? Mega crushes, but that's not really what I'm after. I'm mostly just wanting... Like food rations. Cans of food is the aim of the game. Like that one. But I will save you for later. When did I get moist, by the way? Why am I 28% damp? How the shit did that happen? Oh, clever boy. Your new crawling mechanic means you can squeeze in here very early. Well, that's fine. There's definitely some more coming, though. 
I mean, hey, if I can do headshots and they're gonna start crawling, that's very easy. I wanna try and get this done quickly because there are lots of zombies now bearing down on me. Bookcase, baseball bat schematic, cheese, but I'm not really going clubs this time around, but I always appreciate having my long lost friend with me. Uh, leather hood, no good. I'll scrap you, that rhymed inadvertently, but whatever. Chuck you into there. Extra mods for spear, always a good idea. Um, more shotgun ammo. Oh, yeah, they're getting real rowdy outside now, aren't they? They know that I'm here and they are coming for me. They can smell the fear like they're a goddamn Sith Lord. Open you. Ooh. I'll save you for a rainy day. Oh, almost made it out just in time. That got a heck and bloody close. Need some room to maneuver, which is back out in the fresh air. I was wondering why I was moving so bloody slowly. It's because I'm cucumbered up to McGill's. Not moving quickly at all, like a wheelbarrow with the wheel cut off it. You died. Nice, nice. No one else around. Okay, I got a little bit of a moment to sort my shit out. What am I holding that I don't really need right now? Can of stock, mostly worth this. I'll just eat you, then scrap the can. Uh, you can get turned into a bandage. It's going to free up some more space. I'll turn all of those into frames. Piece that last little splinter off. Um, what else can I get rid of? I need three more things to go by the wayside. No one coming? No, we're all fine. What else isn't important right now? I've got plenty of bones back at home, so that can go away. What did I throw away after all? Some lead, some polymers, bones, and that last bit of wood. Yeah, that's fine. I can live with that. I can live with that. Now I can move like the breeze. What I would love though, well, not dingoes, but I'd love to see some deers or just anything that's made of non-rotten meat. I want to replenish my stocks. I'm still annoyed at myself. Where's all the does and deers gone? Well, I suppose there's none left to repopulate. There's no, <laughs> that's probably the reason there's none left. There's a little chook. Hold your horses there, your rooster tail bastard. Nope. Oh, you ducked and weaved and dipped and dived and dodged like a goddamn superstar. Waggled your little dangly bit at me and pissed off over the horizon. I'm a little upset. I'm a little upset by that. I needed to eat. Well, your wings and your thighs and your breasts and the whole lot of her sizzle you up nicely. I could, I could just chase you down forever and a day. Oh, what? Oh, the chicken! The chicken has friends! Clever Chook! Oh, God. I do not want to fight boars. Boars are so tough. Please die quickly, because everything is- Oh, shit! Oh, he, he undid all my artwork! No, no, no! No, no, no! Can you climb? Can your trotters get up rungs? I bloody hope not! God damn, I hate pigs! Why are you so aggressive? I wanted nothing to do with ya! We could have just lived in harmony! But no, you have to come and pick a fight! Get fucked on! That hurts so much! Now, after dealing with the, oh god, with the bacon insurrection of 2022, now I have to deal with all the zombies as well. The ever-present nuisance just tours my life. So many more dramas than it should. Sit up, please. It's much easier to get that second headshot when they kind of like prop themselves up a bit. Otherwise, the game's like, nah, you hit him in the tits. He's well endowed and got bulletproof armor. Sorry, lad. Right, how about that bloody rooster though? Yeah. Shook its tail feather at me and lured me into a death trap. I can't even be mad. That's like Velociraptor level clever, uh, clever girl. I'm so impressed I can barely even talk about it. Here we go, back to see Trader Rex again. It's never a pleasure, just a necessity. How are ya? Wow, just give me the cold shoulder now. I'd almost rather you insult me like you normally do rather than just stare soullessly through me like a bloody vampire. Uh, I'll take some sugar butts because I know they're super rare and hard to find. Uh, I would take... Mm, nothing else, actually. The rest I can all stay behind. You, what have you got for me? Pretty smart now, don't you? I don't, just dumb luck. Um, I don't need insulated liner because I'm in the desert. I do want the hunter mod. 25% extra damage to all animals. That can go in my bow and help me with my hunting endeavors. Nice, grab you. I don't really want to do another job straight off the bat for you, but I'll take that one. That's the closest one. Like you, me... let's Is that back to the same fast here. food joints? You're not working with no, I went to that one before, didn't I? This is a different me. one. All right, no whack is there, Chief, but also right quick. Do you have any eggs? No eggs. Do you have any raw meat? No, nothing in there. What about in your super secret stash? Nothing really tempting me. Nothing really at all. 
No, no point buying that. We'll get our bicycle reward later. Don't want to spend my money all haphazardly. I wasn't really going to because I didn't want to give him any business, but now this is about as good a time as any. I bought myself those double storage pocket mods that he's had for a while. I only cost like 750 bucks, so whack it into me arms. That gets my cucumber gone, which is all lovely and dandy. Nice. In fact, while I'm here, because you gave me the cold shoulder before, and I'm pretty upset about it, I am going to raid your super secret area. Up we go. No, almost. There you go. Up on some... Oh, my God. Well, Rekt, I hope you've got something to fight zombies with because you and me are going to have to tag team all of these bastards or you're going to lose your compound. I know you have sweet protection and stuff, but at what point is that going to run out? Ah, uh, cowboy boots. What am I wearing at the moment, actually? You give me not very good heat resist, actually. You're worse than the gothic boots, so yeah, nah, cobber. Anything else around, though? Still in the form myself. Actually, no, I don't have the form myself. I was going to say I need to form myself the stuff to make a poncho, but not anymore. I found me duster. I'm not really sure how I'm going to tackle all of this. Uh, <laughs> do I just get down on the ground and start weaving back and forth again? It seemed to work out pretty well last time. I don't have an especially better idea. Come on, everyone. There you go. Oh, trying to get around on my flank. No one else has covered those, so I think we're all good. This is going to take some time. A bit of patience and just methodical stabbing. We'll get through. It'll be all right. So this is why it was so important for me to be cowering at night. I know I could be out there doing bold and brave stuff when the sun goes down. But when you've got hordes like this that are showing up whenever they bloody please... I can't have one of these hordes find me at night time, especially when I'm inside my house, because that will cream through the walls of the prison in bloody no time. So just sitting there and crying a little bit, quietly crying, can't have them hear me through the walls. That is the aim of the game, so I have much better weaponry, or at least a horde base to draw them into, because a horde like that coming through the walls, that's a disaster. While I'm out here, actually, and still have a little bit of sunshine left in the day, the sun's still relatively high in the sky. It's only half past five in the Arvo. Let's knock off Bevy's time. I'm going to go about and see if I can find myself some more bird's nests. There we go. I need some eggs and a lot of them. Finding the cooking pot was the first hurdle. Now I just need to find all the ingredients that I need to cook up all the bacon and eggs that even Ron Swanson would enjoy. Oh. Oh, I see. What well, I raided your nest. Are you getting squawky about it? Come over for a swoop like a bloody magpie in spring. Sorry, bud. Sorry, bud. I've got the bigger stick, and that means I'm better. But, you know, bigger sticks are always more important, right? That's how you gauge your importance of anyone. I'm having a bit of trouble remembering, but I'm pretty sure that little, like, outhouse kind of thing there, I'm pretty sure that has, like, a dog, not a dog, like a wolf inside it, a wolf that isn't undead, so has some edible meats on it. Might go see if I can poke my noggin in there in a ticket to see what's waiting for me. Uh, scrap you. Scrap you and scrap you. I thought it was another horde coming in, but no, it's just regular wanderers. That's all fine. Ali's uh, going to check your purse right quick. Couple of lockpicks. I'll come in handy later. Still got all those safes back in my house. I need to get into at some point. It's for a later day, but lockpicks are always going to be handy. Yeah, I knew it. See, there's the wiggly waggly tail of a wolf. I'll get around the barbed wire and get over there in a moment. Although, ugh, it's going to take way too long. It's way too far for me to run. And I'm rather cucumbered right now. So let's go like that. Chuck a block up on top of the barbed wire. Grab all those back again and pop on over the other side. That's a smart cricket. All right. Who else is inside? Is it just the wolf? I don't remember. Open you up. I can see your little foxies. Oh, and I can shoot your little foxies. That was a bloody good pill by me, if I don't say so myself. Some more shotgun ammo. Some more zombies outside. Well, real quick, let's harvest you up and get back home. Take all the meats we can. 25. Lovely dovely. Made it home in a reasonable time, actually. It's only half past seven, which is good for me. So I can get in, get some more bacon and eggs on the craft. How many eggs did I come home with, actually? Seven. All right, nothing to turn your nose up at. Nothing to sniffle, lad. Easy as, let's get up. So that's what, three more bacon and eggs is. I think meat is actually going to be my bigger problem rather than anything else. I've got not a lot of it remaining. Oh, shit. They know I'm here. Go out and deal with that. I'll be with you in just a moment. A little bit of patience would be lovely. Though a bit rich coming from me, I know. Chuck it over I can into there. Start filling up the next box. We're getting a good amount of gubbins, though. I have a good amount of things. 
I can eat the rest of you. I do need to go and kill that zombie. I'll be right there. Just going to make sure my tum tum is full. <laughs> Tum tum. Come on, Josh. Get it together. There is a few out here beating on the walls. I should probably do some repairs to the walls before too long. I'm not sure where they're coming through, but that would be good information to know. Maybe even build myself like a bit of a walkway around the outside of it at some point, so I don't have to run all the way around the outside like a bloody trailer park girl to come and deal with the clowns outside. There was some one-hit kills on the spear. Don't mind if I do. But if I could, like... I'm not sure if the spear has the reach. If I had like a way to stand up there and stab down, that would be pretty valuable. Hmm, I'll investigate. Some way to defend the walls without being on zombie level would be really good. My first instinct is to get a bunch of like uh, wooden bars, like just like frame bars and put them around the outside to stand on. Hmm, I'm not sure it'll work though. I can't, I can't stab through them. Well, I've got a little bit of time. Old mates annoyed me, but probably fair enough. I'll get to you in a moment. I want to try and get through uh, these doors. So I have access to the perimeter walls around the outside of my prison. That just seems like something I should already have a long time ago. Oh, come on, please go faster. Please go faster. Every moment you take to break through the bloody wall, the zombies get closer to beating through my walls. It's all an arms race, and I'm armed with a blunt stone. Uh, are you around this side? No. Oh, God. You're on the far other side. All right, fair enough then. That was well early, Josh. Try again with much less lead. Well too hard. I just... I, sometimes I'm really good at archery, and a lot of other times I'm absolutely dog shit awful. Could any of these hit, please? Any at all? You know what? If I had, oh god, if I had any shame at all, I would just delete that, pretend it never happened. That was horrendous shooting. Oh, fine. If it's gonna be like that, I'll get down on your level, come around and stab me in the chin. Because apparently I just can't fire an arrow to save my life. It's definitely more of a zombie congregation here than I was hoping for. Like, a couple of zombies showing up around again, not that big of a problem. But when I start grouping up like that, I do start getting a little bit antsy about it. I'll quickly kill you as well while I'm out here. And actually, equally while I'm out here, I'll fill you up with some more fluids. May as well while I've got the empty glass jars on me. Not much else around. Okay, I think I'm fine. I do need to kill you before nighttime falls, though. Because once the sun goes down, I won't have another chance. Sit you down. Finish it off. It's a good one-two combo. Oh, this door's unlocked. Was the last door unlocked? I really hope it wasn't. I didn't even check. I was too busy just beating this shit out to actually check if it was locked or not. Uh, there's more goblins down. I haven't even checked the towers, which I desperately need to do at some point, but not right now, because nighttime's about to fall. Let's grab a bunch of you, put some more water. No, don't actually. Because that'll make me standing here much brighter than it would be otherwise. I'll do that later on. No rush. It's all good. I'm not particularly hungry nor thirsty. I'll drink one of you now. And I'll eat one of you now. There is the night time. Put everything away before things spawn in. And get back to my little safe haven here. Praying no one hears me. I can't wait to like have a proper base going. And some proper weaponry and stuff where I might have the gumption to go and fight the zombies at night. That's a long way down the track. When there's this many zombies and they're this dangerous as they are, I don't want to risk it. That biscuit ain't worth it. So I was just looking at the map, trying to plan what my movements are for tomorrow. I did kind of want to go back. Oh, it's raining inside. Always a good day. Uh, I do want to go back to the pine forest and potentially hunt some more deer. I need some more meat for my bacon and eggs. Although I'm running out of eggs far earlier than I'm running out of meat. So maybe that's a waste of time. I don't know. I don't, I don't know why, by the way, bacon comes out of deer. All bacon is meat, but not all meat is bacon, but not according to this game. So I think instead, I'll continue my quest to find the books. I'm hoping that zo those zombie dogs over there have despawned at some point. But I'll head up north, do that quest, try and find myself some more newspaper boxes. But given how far I've already gone, I don't like my chances. Maybe I'll just go... Maybe I go south for, about, uh, south for a bit even and see what I can find. Because I want those books. I do also need to figure out where the shit I'm going to spend all these points. In fact, with six points, let's go you and you. And let's go the next level of sex. Rex, I could probably also go... Oh, no, it's so expensive to level up after you get above tier five. Um, I... Ooh, that's a good idea. I'll actually start specking into rifles because when I do eventually find a rifle, I want it to be mint. 
The zombies are outside, but I'm not particularly worried about it. They're just floundering about in the puddles that's coming from the sky. Yeah, I think that's the play. We'll go back into the city and head down south where I haven't gone before. I gotta find those books. But how many more books do I actually need to find? We're at level 19. Man, double XP is progressing the game so quickly, which sounds like a great thing. But is it really when you consider that it means the worst of the zombies are coming for me much faster than usual? Two more books in pistols and... So many more books in Spear Hunter. Damn it, for once I'm actually specking into something that I can do from day one. And now you're not giving me the books. Please, I'm begging you. But I have to continue begging you in the next episode where I go and raid everything I can to find those books in the next episode. Because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the page, the Patreon, who made this episode possible. If you would like to make sure you hit the like button down below, subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.